Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, energy can go vice versa. And as I always say, this reading won't resonate with everyone, so take what fits, but leave the rest out. We have perception with the wind fairies. So someone's thoughts or thought process here is shifting in a new direction, kind of seeing things from a different point of view here. I just heard uh, overanalyzing as well. True love, this is a divine connection with thought patterns. Get out of your head and into your heart. This is the truth. Yeah, someone's feelings are changing here or shifting in a new direction. Okay, seeing things in a different light. Overall energy we have, four of pentacles. This is about holding on here, uh, guarding our heart chakra, right? Our emotions, how we feel, but as well as uh, holding back. Okay, so let's see what's going on in your energy this week. Gemini, thank you. Seven of swords, ten of pentacles, knight of wands. So it looks like this is the week you get things done when it comes to uh, your work situation, finances here, as well as just your home life. Uh, it looks like you're having to use your wit and strategy here uh, to kind of overcome some challenges or hurdles coming your way. But it really is the week of success for you, right? You really are getting uh, to the point where uh, it doesn't matter, you know, who comes against you. You're moving forward and uh, succeeding above all, being victorious here. I do see in regards to your person, uh, you feel like this, they've had to play this kind of strategy, right? You feel like they try to pull one over on you and you're not wanting to deal with that or even think about that anymore because it really did stress you out and it made you feel a little unstable. Okay, so let's see what's going on in their energy this week. We have Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and the Justice card. So this person's coming to the realization that they know what you want from them, what is required in order for this to uh, even move forward here. So there's been some separation for a while. You've probably not heard from this person. They know they hurt you and they knew that they couldn't pull the wool over your eyes. It's almost like you see something uh, for what it truly is and they know what it's going to take here. Reciprocity, right? So they're realizing they took more from you than they, than they gave here. And therefore, there's a little sense of regret here of taking advantage of you, especially since they hold you in high regard. They see you as a very level-headed person, very smart and very witty, um, highly intelligent and able to hold conversations with them as well. Uh, but they feel very loyal uh, to you at the same time. So... Even though there's been separation, this person wants to make amends or do the right thing when it comes to you, bring balance back into the situation. Okay, so let's see what's happened in the past. We have the Hermit, Three of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. So I see there was some insights this person knew uh, intuitively as well as what they should properly do and how they should act with you they kind of ignored that they didn't do things the right way when it came to this connection and something inside of them was irking them knowing you know they need to step it up they need to do what's right here three of pentacles ace of wands it's almost like you know there's a promise here in the beginning that never came to fruition where they would be working with you as a team, right? They wanted to build something long-term, but they never put any effort in. I mean, zero here. And in fact, they would detach for long periods of time. But they knew it was not right, but they did it anyway. Tell me the hermit, let's see. They didn't listen to their inner guide here. Three of swords, king of pentacles. Yeah, this person almost felt broken. Okay, so this is definitely a mindset. It's almost like a self-sabotaging type thing where this person was holding some old personal baggage and how they felt about themselves, their worthiness here. And they always felt like they're the ones that always end up hurting anyone uh, anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and live up to that standard. Uh, it's just this mindset where they feel like 
things get too hard, I'm not going to put effort in to fix things. Or I'm not going to put effort in to be fair because things have been unfair to me. Okay, it is a very self I imposed or self-centered point of view and this person in the current moment is changing that right they're realizing what it's taking here justice card almost like the universe is stepping in and there's some circumstantial thing happening in their environment now to change their mindset okay tell me what this ace of wands eight of pentacles yeah it's like I mean, they knew what was required. They knew what to do was right. And they just were being stubborn and not doing that. So let's see what the challenge was here. Let's see what was stopping them from doing the right thing here. King of Cups, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. This love was very extreme. The chemistry, you know if this is your story, you felt so attached. This person felt bound to you. Uh, they were very uncomfortable with that as well. They almost feel like, well, everything bad happens to me anyways. I always end up getting blamed for hurting people. Um, they just had this mindset of negativity, right? And they felt like, you know, they're the type of person that doesn't belong in a committed relationship because it always ends up bad for them. So they kind of decided a long time ago, way before this, that they weren't going to get involved into a committed situation with someone. And they'll never fall in love truly and deeply uh, to where they would have to do that. But you took them by surprise here. King of Cups, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. So not only did they not speak about how deeply they felt towards you here, this love kept growing and growing deep inside of them. They couldn't stand it, okay? And there's also something else other than a mindset here. I keep picking up little hints that shifted this perspective for them in their environment, okay? So something kind of hit them as an unexpected event or something happened where it changed their perspective and they felt the same thing that they made you feel, okay? Whatever that is, it'll be different for everyone. Uh, this is something where they could not continue to give in the situation and they didn't want to feel trapped. They did not want to feel like they were almost at your every whim. They felt like you should be the one that should be trapped and longing for them here because deep inside, they were just longing for you constantly and they would show you something completely different they would detach disappear here and sometimes kind of buck the system right make you almost judge your own feelings make you feel unloved here tell us the king of cups empress i mean they just adored you i mean this is kind of telling on them the fact that they held this deep inside they could not express this here in fact their actions retaliated against it, trying to almost convince themselves that they weren't, okay? So this is a big, almost life-changing moment for this person, the fact that you've came into their life here. So let's see what action they're going to take this week. We have Five of Pentacles, Nine of Swords reversed, and the Page of Cups. So get ready. This person's coming out of the woodwork. If you have not heard from this person for a very long time, Gemini, you're about to see something completely shift into a new phase. And this will be quite shocking here because you would least expect this person to say what they're about to say. Okay, so if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to find out exactly what they do here what they're going to say to you moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. But if not, if this is your last stop, I thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.